What is going on guys, Andy here, back with another video, and today we are going to be talking about the SNES Classic Edition, or Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition, whatever you want to call it, the successor to the NES Classic Edition that's most famous for being scalped and sold on eBay for twice, sometimes triple the amount that it was in stores. So this is just like the NES Classic Edition, except it's Super Nintendo, which is awesome. Um, not as many games. Uh, the NES one had, I believe, 30. This one only has 21. And I'll get into that for a second. Uh, there's three different versions. There's Japanese version, European version, so like PAL region, and uh, the American version, which looks like the American Super Nintendo, which is really cool. Looks like... The controller ports are actual Super Nintendo controller ports, which I'm not too sure, but that's what it looks like. I'll have a picture up so you guys can see. Um, it's not a not a bad colorway. No, it's the North American Super Nintendo. I do like the colors of the Power Region Super Nintendo though, so it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it comes with 21 games. It is available September 29th, 2017 for $80. Hopefully, Nintendo makes enough so everybody can, uh, can get some, because that would be dope. Now, the games, it does have some good games. Some games I kind of wish they would have put in. Um, would have definitely been just amazing if they did. But uh, they have Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, which is great. Uh, Link to the Past, F-Zero, which I just recently played for the first time and I loved it. Super Metroid. Um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which I like that one over just the regular Super Street Fighter. Super Punch-Out, which is a Um, Super Castlevania 4, which is a great, fantastic game. Donkey Kong Country, Mega Man X, which is plus. Kirby Superstar, uh, Final Fantasy 3, which is a good. Kirby Dream Course, which is good. Star Fox, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario RPG, which is Amazing. That's such a great game. Contra 3, The Alien Wars, fantastic. Street Kid of Mana, fantastic. Earthbound, fantastic. Um, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which is a great game. Very hard, though. Um, I kind of wish they would have had TMNT4, Turtles in Time. That would have been amazing. I don't. I kind of wish they had that over like Super Punch Out. That's just me, though. Or maybe, like, Kirby Superstar. I've never really played Kirby Superstar, so I can't really say anything. So, yeah, but that's that's really it. So, a great, great list of games. But, there's one more. For the first time ever, Star Fox 2. Applause? Yes. So, now you don't actually have to emulate it. It comes with it. Which I think is a huge selling point. Not only does it have a whole list of fantastic games, you get Star Fox 2. Which, if you don't know, they actually were, I think they were pretty much done with it. Then they scrapped it to release Star Fox 64. So, that's cool. Um, I've never actually played the emulation of Star Fox 2, so I'm really, really excited to try that out. I do plan on getting one, if I can find one. Uh, because it would just be awesome, and... It'll just be cool. You know, playing HD. So, gonna be good. Gonna be good. So, what do you guys think of this Super Nintendo Classic Edition? Let me know in the comments below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!